we have the video of the event. So this was um, covered in the uh, news media, TV news. Uh, so they kind of chopped up the ring video camera. I don't have the original source ring video camera. Um, and uh, where we where they interviewed the homeowner, I'll just have the homeowner speak. Where it's the reporters talking, we will have the closed caption on the screen. Uh, but I, I, you always have to be careful about not getting hit with some kind of copyright claim by these organizations. We are, of course, reviewing their brief reporting, a minute and 37 seconds, for purposes of education, legal analysis, fair use, folks, fair use. Uh, but the reporters weren't saying anything interesting anyway. The, the only interesting statements are actually from the homeowner who acted in self-defense. By the way, folks, I strongly discourage you from talking to the media. If you've been involved in a use of force event, even just a threat of use of force event, nothing good is going to happen to you from talking to the media. Only bad things can happen. But nevertheless, this homeowner was not aware of that advice and uh, chose to talk to the media. And that's why we have words from his own mouth about what happened. So I'll go ahead and play this. Again, when he's not talking, when the fellow's not on the screen, uh, we'll just have the closed caption on the bottom. Here we go. There was just a scene after midnight Tuesday in the village of Cypress Lakes neighborhood. Terry Willis, security cameras catching a group of would-be thieves, pulling on car doors, looking for goods inside. I had a side-by-side -side UTV that was on the back of the truck, hooked it, and they had got up into the side-by-side -side and were trying to take it off of the trailer. But the crew of car prowlers didn't realize whose property they were for turning on. For approximately 20 years, I had concealed weapons permit, and I've also been through hunter safety courses. I've built guns, I've built the ARs, Motion detectors outside of Willis's home, setting off an alarm, leading him to take matters into his own hands. I told him, I said, I don't think you want to do this. I think I'd do that. Walking out his home with an AR-15 pointed in their direction. I racked the bolt back, put the, put the shell in the chamber. Sending thieves scrambling, one even having to run to catch up with the getaway car. And while Willis didn't shoot. They were leaving and... That was what I wanted. I, I wanted him away from here. I, I don't want to kill somebody, but if it comes to that, to protect my family, I will. But if it comes to that, to protect my family. Uh, and Carmen Rowe, legal expert, says Willis had every right to do that under the state's castle doctrine. It gives citizens the right to exhibit a weapon or use deadly force when it's immediately necessary to prevent another's attempt to commit burglary or theft of property. I've worked for, for 40 years of my life for everything I've got. Never stole anything in. I'm I'm just not taking it no more. As for any copycat this offenders, ain't the this place ain't to the place come. to come. So we're tired of it. We're tired of it. Suggest he's had property stolen before. Uh, I do, of course, want to go back to the legal expert because um, this is a uh, an inept uh, description of, we'll be looking at the actual statute. It, it's not Texas Castle Doctrine that gives uh, the citizen the right to exhibit a weapon or use deadly force when it's immediately necessary to prevent another's attempt to commit burglary or theft of property at night. Um, it's Texas defense of property statute, deadly force and defense of property statute. Castle doctrine has nothing to do in particular with defense of property. Uh, Castle doctrine simply says, if you would have had a legal duty to retreat, defending yourself out in the street, the public street, you are relieved of that legal duty to retreat if you're defending yourself in your home. Your castle relieves you of an otherwise existing duty to retreat. Of course, Texas is a hard stand your ground state anyway. So for all practical purposes and otherwise lawful cases of self-defense, that element of avoidance, whether or not there's a legal duty to retreat, is just completely off the table. Not a target of attack for a prosecutor. Not a place where you can fail in your claim of self-defense. It's just not a condition. It's not a required element of a claim of otherwise lawful self-defense under Texas law. But none of that's called, none of what we're talking about here is castle doctrine. 